What is going on guys? This is Vanny. So in today's video, we are going to be going over the new Clash Royale update. Going to be playing some touchdown. We have some chests to open. You can see we have a legendary chest already on the first day of the new shop. Going to be basically playing like uh, trying to win this touchdown challenge. And it's the most fun I've had playing a game mode in a long time. You guys know I've talked about that in these sneak peeks or whatever. And it's finally like we we're actually able to play it. I'm, I'm so happy the update came out and we can play it right away. So the official touchdown challenge doesn't start for 13 hours. That's one where the losses actually do count. But we have touchdown practice and it doesn't matter, man. Just like play the touchdown game mode. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's probably one of, like the most fun I've ever played Clash Royale in a long time. So let me know down below what you think of the touchdown mode. If you, you might be at school or whatever, not being able to download it yet, but don't worry. Download it after school and start playing it or whatever. But if you didn't know there was an update, download it right now. Test it out in the comments below. Let me know what you think of it. And let me know what else. Like, leave a like if you guys are excited for this update or whatever. We got quests going on here. Uh, my quests are kind of weird. Collect 40 crowns from 2v2 touchdown event. I'm at four so far. Play cards that cost at least six elixir 30 times in 1v1 arena battles. Open 10 chest. Win a 1v1 arena battle three times with Giant Skeleton and a clone in your battle deck. So that's kind of weird. A Giant Skeleton and a clone. So I didn't think they were going to have quests that have like different cards. But hey, whatever. My, my Obviously, my first chest is a golden chest in this cycle. But whatever. So other than that, guys, that's basically the the main things for the update that you need to know. But we have this new like little challenge system here where it goes off of crowns right there. So we're going to try and get the max crowns and get our gem reward. It's a free entry, so whatever. I'll take the gold chest. We'll do a quick match here. But guys, I, I'm surprised they have Hog Rider in the touchdown mode. I thought they were gonna do, like, not use it. I'm actually gonna take the Battle Ram. The Battle Ram's, like, similar to the Hog Rider, where it's so good. And the Graveyard actually is not that great, so I'll give it to the enemy. And the, he gave them arrows, but I need these minions for the balloon. So hopefully they, they use the arrows for something else and the Electro Wizard. So good cards for, for basically the touchdown is, like, Hog Rider, Battle Ram, Giant's also good, Golem's good, Lava Hound, like things that are just so tanky or super, super fast. Like the Dark Goblin's good as well. Spawners are very nice too in this game mode. The, I'd say definitely prioritize getting spawners because they constantly flow. And in this game mode, there's no towers. There's nothing to help you. You have to use your troops to take care of their stuff. So hopefully this guy drafts his last card here. <laughs> but dude, touchdown mode, most fun. I'm so, so, so happy. We get to play this so i don't know just let me know what's your what's your favorite part of this update um hopefully soon we get some announcements on cards obviously you guys know like m basically every big update comes with cards maybe a little bit down the road they'll just release singular cards i don't know because you guys know how normally they like they announce all the cards at once um like at the beginning of the up like an update period and then like there is no cards but over the last like three or four updates there's been leaks to those cards so maybe they're waiting to release those and announce them one at a time who really knows oh they're not really dropping anything dude what the heck is going on so we're going in here do they do they just want to give up what i'll take it maybe they don't know how to play touchdown is this a fluke or are they just like seriously not playing and i just noticed too that they're actually like those things in the back are teslas that's pretty sweet. So if they're not playing, guys, I'm just going to take this victory and run with it. Like, basically, we just need to get it. Our, I don't, this is really odd. Unless they're, like, a clan together, I didn't notice. But look at the back. The Tesla is, like, shooting up some. Well, not Teslas. They, they kind of look like cannons. But come on. Let me drop some cards. Cannon cards pretty fast. Like, okay, you're seeing how the mechanics works with no teammates. Um, this was going to be a good game, but they're, they're just not playing. Oh, there they go. Now they start going and maybe they did this on purpose. They wanted to try and make a comeback. I don't even know. Maybe they drafted wrong. Maybe I have no idea what happened there, but the cannon card came in clutch. So that match doesn't count, but I guess we'll take it. And we'll be like, we'll be like, that was close. <laughs> but all right, we got the victory. Now we're up to seven crowns. We get to collect our gold chest. Nothing, nothing too crazy out of that. We got to open those chest quests. So we'll, we'll just continue. Maybe, we'll, maybe someone in my clan wants to play. Not entirely sure. I gotta play a touchdown with uh two v two touchdown with Carla because Carla has not been playing like at all recently. She's still in the clan. She wants me to like, cause she, cause like, I she doesn't like when I'm like Carla. You need to get those crowns for the clan chest, and she's like, well, just kick me out of the clan then. I'm like, well, just leave if you want to leave. <laughs> but maybe she'll come back and play with the touchdown if she likes it. So, would you guys like to see some two v two touchdown game modes with Carla? In a video she hasn't been in a video in a long time so let me know on that but 
hopefully this, maybe she, it sparks her interest with this touchdown mode. Same with a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you were getting kind of like stale with how Clash Royale, or you're getting stale with Clash Royale, and I think this is actually a good, uh, like a good way to draw people back for touchdown, because it's so fun. Like, in, in my personal opinion, it's one of my, it's like my favorite game mode for sure. And I have the Hog Rider here, so I have to be kind of wise when I use this. If they drop something big, and my team is not dropping anything. You gotta drop troops. Don't sit there and not drop troops. What is this, dude? Don't sit at 10 elixir. It's the same as like normal. You don't want to sit on your elixir and just let it pile up and you're basically losing elixir at that point. So, um, we got the bandit rolling down this lane though. Ooh, ooh, I don't have anything. Teammate, you gotta, you gotta drop something for that witch. Ooh, that was close. I need this executioner out and alive, dude. But, I digress. So here, we'll throw down the executioner. Don't want to let those skeletons go. All right, that was a little close. But they got a lot of spawners, so that's going to be really annoying for us to deal with. Um, I guess I will fireball over here. Even though I don't think it was fully necessary, but those fire spirits! No, the fire spirits! Oh, the fire spirits! No! See why spawners are so good? Ah! Maybe, you gotta be on point with everything. I didn't have enough elixir to stop it. I thought maybe we would've got lucky in the electric, or the ice wizard would've dragged it, but was not the case. So I'll throw on the night witch, cause that's really all I have. The Tesla got a nice buff, by the way, guys. So it's definitely a lot stronger. Um, it shoots a lot, well, it shoots a little bit slower, but it does a lot more damage. And, oh shoot. Those fire spirits, are we gonna make it round two here? So we're down early. Um, kinda disappointed in that, but Whatever, I mean, we're doing okay right now, but who knows? In touchdown, it can change, man. I haven't even thrown on the Hog Rider, so. We'll throw it down right now, and we're gonna get that Fireball ready. Fireball! Go, 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 go! Oh, we would've won anyways with the Dark Goblin, dude. So the Fireball, like, the Hog Rider can get, can get stuffed down the sideline. Like, it can literally get shut down. Like, if you, I had it where I had a Mega Knight, in like this corner right here where I threw down the Mega Knight and the Hog Rider just got completely shut down. It, like it could not advance. So that fireball literally saved me right there. Cause it was looking like that was gonna happen too. So Royal Giant really just walks straight. It's like a giant, so the, actually Royal Giant sucks in this game mode compared to like a regular giant. Yes, it's pretty tanky, but it's less tanky than a giant and it's six elixir. So it shoots defensive buildings, but I don't know. I personally am not a fan of the Royal Giant in this game mode, but We'll do the Hog Rider down the sidelines once again, and we'll see if they use their defensive buildings. Oh, I'm getting called here? Oh my goodness. I'll have to, I think the Hog Rider, the Hog Rider's too good. Too freaking good, man. Jeez, dude, and I thought I turned cellular off on my iPad. I, I guess I did not. Well, <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. So here, we'll throw the Night Witch over here, along with uh, the Tesla, and then, the balloon coming out over here, so whatever. I'll just go Hog Rider again. I'll have my fireball on rotation. Oh, the time's up. I didn't even see the time. I was too thrown off by the phone call. Well, well, touchdown quest. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Got to go. Are we the best in the world? <laughs> so nice. Got the victory. Nine crowns, and we just need one more. Play with play with a friend here, I think. I think that's what I clicked, share to clan. So sorry for bashing on my clanmate the last match for not dropping, but he's sitting at 10 elixir. Shouldn't do that. But okay, we'll do this. Oh, I don't know how the Inferno Dragon is in this game mode, dude. I'll take the Prince, even though the Cannon Card did get that little nice little buff. Um... Tough choice, princess or this? Take the, take the regular one. And then we got the, we got the lightning. So, okay. Let's see here. Um. Uh, we both have spawners. I guess I'll throw them down over here. Cannon car coming in, so I'll counter that with my prince. We've got some guards coming out right down the middle. Uh, I'll just log. Log the dark goblin. 
<laughs> Dark Goblin's really annoying to deal with, but we got a lot of spawners. We got a lot of nice things. Like, this Battle Ram might be the game, because, like, they're low on Elixir right now. Once this Battle Ram speeds up, he's got the Freeze, too. This might be... Oh, no, the Battle Ram's actually going for the cannon. I was going to say, this might be looking really good for us. It still kind of is, because we have these spawners really, really going hard, but I don't know. Kind of waited out a little bit. I am scared for the Musketeer, so I'll throw it on the Giants. These... Ooh, I don't like the... I forgot about the... No, I forgot about the Electro. He's got, he does have the Freeze. All right. So he's going to keep going. Giant's going to keep barreling through. They misplaced the Bomb Tower. I think that's going to do it. That Freeze was clutch. Nice, dude. So we scored one there. All right. Opening push. Teamwork. That's what we like to see. Uh, we'll do it again. Goblin Hut. The same stance. Defensive stance, really. You're too good, man. See if the dark go the spear goblin just runs straight through, and I'll actually log. I'll log the dark goblin. Boom. Now we do have quite a bit of air troops that can take care of the lava hound, so I think we'll be okay. Look at all the spear goblins. Oh, you had to arrow them. <laughs> uh huh. The wizard I'm scared of though. The wizard on the other side. All right. I'm gonna need to throw it on like the prince very soon or something. Just take care of this cannon cart. Thing is nasty right now, dude. It's doing so much work. Taking care of the barbarians. My prince is almost dead too. The archers. Woof. Well, that was uh. I mean, even though like our basically everything reset, we still have our spawners alive. So that's why they're really, really good. And the battle ram down the right hand side. Ooh, this might be this might be good unless the battle ram gets stuck by the golem. That would suck. But there, there's the bomb tower. Okay. He also does have the lightning. So I'm gonna throw on the giant on this side. They don't have any defensive buildings unless they cycle fast enough. Graveyard coming out. This might be good for us, dude. We'll log all this over here. I don't have my Electro Wizard, but our teammate does have the freeze. Druby. The freeze this is too good, man. And a lightning. Oh, lightning right now. Lightning right now. Does he have enough? Lightning right now. Oh, if he would have lightning earlier, we would have got it. <laughs> Because it would have delayed them, but out of the way, too big of a push on the right-hand side. Two crowns here. There's 10 seconds left. I don't think we can, can get the crown here. So let's throw some stuff up in here to see if we can get there in six seconds. Nah, not even close. The Spirit Goblin was fairly close. He was running down the sideline. He may have, maybe have gotten, would have got it if like he didn't get hit right away. But, all right. The person that called me left a voicemail. I had no idea who it was. But okay. We'll do the... It feels good to be great. <laughs> Two is more than one. I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. There we go. Get our 11 crowns. Take our five gems. And then, yes, we can still... I can't play this anymore. Challenge will refresh soon. Join for free. Well, better refresh. I want to play again, man. That was, that was fun. That was super, super fun. Yes, I already collected all these these rewards, but let's see how long it takes to refresh. Because I want to keep playing Touchdown, man. I don't want to wait till 12 hours to play again. I want to play again. Maybe if like I log off or something. Who really, really, who, who really knows? But we got the crown chest going. Anything? Nothing. What did I get for my quest? Anything else? Nah, I, I, that skeleton one I really don't like. Skeleton and clone? I mean, yeah, it could be an interesting battle deck, but... All right, we've got a legendary chest. We're going to open that up. See, I don't even really care what I get. <laughs> I don't really know what I want. Anything? The lumberjack? I'm, I'm cool with that. We can get that to level 3 already as well. Can't purchase it again. We get a pouch of gold as well. I just noticed that. We'll take the gold for 20 gems. Basically, we just won those 5 gems. So it was 15 gems for these for the 1600 or the 600 gold. Just restarted my game to see if it refreshed, and it won't. So I'm not sure how long... The, oh, it restarts. It restarts in 12 hours and 51 minutes. So I have to wait 12 hours to play this again. Well, that's kind of lame. I kind of want to hope for the 2v2 touchdown challenge. So you can just play it over and over again. So I wish you could just continue to play this over and over again. Even if you collected all the rewards. Like, it still allow me to play the game mode that I'm having the most fun with. That's, a, that's one kind of maybe thing I would say for Clash Royale. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of this touchdown mode. 
and what you guys think of the updates. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.